Hey guys, what's up? Bisected Tron here from One Hot Gazette here with the next video, and this is a war recap against uh, Arab. Very good war to them. Uh, they put up a pretty solid job, uh, but fell a little bit short towards the end. Um, taking a look at uh, our attacks, go up to the top here. Uh, we did a good job. We got all the Town Hall 11s two starred, and then I think they only had a, just one or two Town Hall 10s, two Town Hall 10s, I think. And we got one of them three-starred. We'll take a look at that. Um, and then going down here, uh, everything else three-starred as far as the Town Hall 9s go. So uh, I'm not going to show any 11s uh, or that 10. Just going to show this one three-star on the Town Hall 10. And it was an awesome attack by Bert. Uh, you can see he's bringing uh, Go Vaho, which is pretty standard for Town Hall 10 three-stars. And this space really calls for it. I mean look how compact it is and look how close those inferno towers are to each other uh, a group of valks if they get in there they can do some serious damage uh, so it goes ahead and starts off with the queen walk uh, I, I, I take credit for that queen walk by the way I was the first person to attack this base and uh, I got but I got I think I got the two star or maybe a one star I can't remember uh, I kind of failed on it but at least I got that queen walk down so like I've said before you know building on top of what the last attacker did uh, so the queen walk works out nicely. And the great thing about this queen walk is it doesn't require any spells. You know, it's not getting the most amount of defenses, but if your queen walk does not require any rages, uh, that's a solid queen walk right there, even if it's not getting the most value. Um, that's a pretty tight jump right there, but it looks like it just reaches those Valks. They can make their way in. Uh, here they go though, has the rage, has a heal for them. As soon as that multi goes down, they're gonna be healed back up, kind of ignoring the balloon and the lava hound. I think the balloon will go down to the poison spell anyway, uh, but they collapse in those inferno towers real quickly. I think they even broke through the layer walls right there by the CC. Uh, so the Valks are just insane, destroyed that base, all the Teslas, all that, that stuff just crammed up next to each other. Uh, pops the queen's ability as she moves her way around. Got great value for the queen. And then here come a few of his own hogs and the CC hogs that kind of cut across the base behind the Valks. And the awesome part is because he didn't need a heal, or because he didn't need a rage for his queen, he has an, uh, enough spells left over that he can heal his hogs, hogs once. And that's not easy to do at Town Hall 10 when you need so many spells for your Valks and your Queen Walk. To have a heal for your hogs, that just makes a huge difference. And you can see it pays off because there's so many hogs left up. Just a few buildings will go ahead and go times four as the last few things go down. Awesome attack to Bert, getting the three star and doing it on a pretty solid Town Hall 10 base. All right. Um, not going to show the typical Valk attacks because you guys see that just too much, I think. So I'm going to show uh, both lower level attacks and some different attacks. So this one is a very old fashioned, um, I think it's a Shattered Go La Loon. Yeah, Shattered, I think. Uh, comes in with two golems. And uh, for some reason, that one golem decided to go to the cannon. That was really weird. I don't know why because it, like, I mean, nothing changed. If the jump goes down, it thinks for a moment goes to that cannon, very weird. But at least one golem goes into the base. You can see that queen and the two air defenses are right there. So kind of what we used to see when the queen wasn't offset. Uh, so very easy, just comes in, gets both those air defenses, gets the CC troops, and uh, most importantly, gets the queen. Uh, you can see the golem actually did end up coming back in. So it's pretty much full health as it walks its way up. It's gonna do some more taking for the queen. Uh, so that works out very nicely, not full health, but it's doing some tanking. Uh, here come the, the uh, Lava Hound part of the attack. Comes in with just the two Lava Hounds as usual. Uh, good placement on that haste. Just gonna propel the balloons along. Let them keep moving. A few balloons cutting across the middle of the base. That's always good to see. They'll get in there, get that expo if the traps don't take them out too much. Uh, has the first rage to let the balloons move along uh, in that area. Then the second rage for that Tesla farm. Everything's being tanked for by that Lava Hound. It's about to explode, but the balloons are closing in on these last few defenses. Still has two haste spells. Probably could have used these a little bit earlier because his balloons are thinning out, uh, but luckily gets one down there and uh, this is over. Still has like four or five balloons still up, plus that haste, which actually there is that expo up, I didn't even see, uh, but it goes down to the queen and then the balloons. So no big deal there. And like I said in the mini tip, has that one balloon for cleanup makes a huge difference because uh, he does not have any wizards, just has that one minion. So um, obviously you want to have minions and wizards 
to take out some of those buildings where your troops don't finish at. But that balloon makes a big difference, especially on those high HP buildings, because uh, it does so much damage when it drops a bomb that it can take out the high HP buildings pretty quickly. So anyway, we'll go ahead and fast forward. Uh, nice attack to Genbok. All right, uh, two more. We're gonna take a look at Freestyler. Um, taking out this base and doing it with the Golem Avalanche attack that uh, you guys have seen a lot on the channel lately. Um, just bringing in the five golems and uh, he goes ahead and starts it up top here. Doesn't always have to start in the hero compartment. It can pretty much start at any part of the base. The thing is though, you typically wanna start it at the hero compartment because you wanna get all the high DPS area t out of the way. Um, that way when, you're, when your troops start thinning out, you don't have to worry about engaging the, the heroes and making sure that your king is nearby to take out the heroes. It's just easier usually to take out the heroes first if you can, but sometimes the base isn't set up that way, so it just depends. But this is obviously a dead zone base, has that little thing in the middle, and we still see it even against high level war clans. You know, I think I've seen it in arranged wars, the last few wars. There's always one or two bases that are like this, or at least, you know, don't have many defenses that do much to ground troops in the middle of the base, and that really opens it up for this attack. So you can see comes in uh, the queen, hanging back a little bit, but she's making her way up. She'll get on that dragon. Uh, the king is pretty low right here, only 14, 15 heroes. So uh, not by any means high level heroes, and uh, the king is going down pretty quickly, but uh, luckily it still has quite a few wizards left up. Those are you know, almost as important as your heroes, keeping those wizards up. And you can see he does a great job here keeping them up. Uh, the next few golems making their way in just in time as those other golems get destroyed, has the golems uh, help reinforce. And uh, most of those wizards are avoiding the giant bomb. That hog was awesome. It protects those wizards, gets the wizard tower taken out. These few little hogs that you can sprinkle in are awesome at the end of the attack because everything's distracted on a golem. Just drop those guys in, they'll get great value for you and uh, still has one jump spell left. The queen, as usual, gets out ahead, but still has the ability, so it can fall back on that a little bit. He'll go ahead and pop that right there. As she shoots down a few more buildings, she'll get that archer tower, and the hogs got great value. Right now, they're just finishing up on these last few defenses while everything's shooting at the golems, so awesome job. You can see how many wizards he has left up, and uh, plus both those low-level heroes, so he did a great job protecting all of his DPS troops because as you can see how much is still left up that does damage. Uh, last attack though, we're going to take a look at, uh, I think this is the one I wanted to look at, no, I think it was 29. Yeah, it was 29. Uh, we're looking at Riff taking on this base and another lo low level hero attack, that's kind of the theme of this war. Didn't want to show too many 30-30 Valk attacks because that's just what you guys see so much. I wanted to have a little bit of variety. So only, you know, this guy only has a level seven queen, level 10 king. The layout of his base is, you know, it's solid. Um, obviously his stuff's a little bit under upgraded, Town Hall 8 stuff for the most part. Uh, but still, you know, not an easy base to take out when your heroes are only 15-15, especially, I think this might have been a first attack, I'm not sure. Uh, for some reason I'm thinking it is, I don't know. But anyway, comes in with a few golems. I've always said be cautious about how many golems you bring if your heroes are this low level. But look at this, he brings a few wizards and uh, that can help uh, warrant the golems, I guess. It gives you a reason to bring those golems if you can get some wizards behind them. That's just more DPS that's gonna uh, be using the tanking that the golems give you. So it really gives you value for those golems instead of just the, lo the low level heroes behind it. His queen did go up north a little bit, but luckily the poison spell was enough to take out the dragon. So CC troops are down, the golems got in there, triggered one of the double giant bomb sets, and uh, took out the enemy queen, obviously. Uh, here come the hogs, though, just gonna overwhelm this base, coming from the north. The king, the poison spell would've been nice on that king right there, because he actually gets quite a few hits on these hogs, but he's only level 10, he's not gonna be too much of an issue. Uh, coming at this base from all sides though, when you have you know le max level hogs for Town Hall 9, you can do that at, uh, I mean you can swarm the base with hogs, you can spread them out a little bit more, and uh, that allows him to not have to worry about that double giant bomb set. He does hit it, but because he spread out the hogs so much, uh, a big group of them still survived, and uh, you can see the king's going to go over and take out his queen, but it doesn't matter, has so many hogs left up. This one's already over. Awesome job to Rift, getting the three star. 
uh, go ahead and go times two. But yeah, like I said, if you have these high-level hogs going against Town Hall 8 defenses, spread them out a little bit more, especially if you can if one double giant bomb set's still going to be up. And uh, if nothing else, just overpower it. And uh, most of your hogs, most of the time, your hogs aren't going to all die to one double giant bomb set if you keep them spread out enough. So uh, thanks for watching, though. This was a war recap. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, should have more coming in the future. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.